Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is David Hyman, your tour guide in Israel. Today we are touring the Church of the Multiplication of the Fish and the Loaves in Galilee. The site is called Tabcha. So stay with me on this tour of the Church of the Fish and the Loaves. So right now we are at Tabcha. Tabcha, the name Tabcha. The name here it says Heptapagon means the spring of seven. And the Greek Heptapagon was mutated into the Arabic name El Tabcha or Tabcha. You can see the church was built right near the Via Maris, the ancient highway that connected Mesopotamia in the north and Egypt in the south. It went right along the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee. And this is the site where the miracle of the feeding of the multitude took place. Okay, Luke chapter 9. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. It was the end of the day. The people are hungry and they have no food. So Jesus asked his disciples, how much food do we have? They said, we have two fish and five loaves of bread. And uh, with that modest amount of food they managed he managed to feed five thousand the first church is actually this one a small church with a venerated rock in the fourth century a pilgrim called igeria is the first who reports about this rock when she writes about the stone on which the lord placed the bread is the middle of the fifth century the floor of the church is decorated with mosaics and right in the middle near the altar that is where they found this most famous mosaic of a basket with loaves of bread and two fish on both sides this is how it was excavated in 1935 that's when they found it right under the altar that's where the mosaic with the fish and the loaves in the seventh century the church was destroyed and until 1889, no one knew about this place. The German Benedictine uh, priests, fathers who purchased this land and excavated, they hit the jackpot because they found the 5th century mosaic with the depiction of the miracle of the loaves and fish. All they needed to do was clean the floor, fix it up a little bit, and then build the new church on top of it just to cover it. But the floor is 5th century original mosaic. The modern church is built in the Neo-Byzantine style, following the exact dimensions of the 5th century church. Parts of the original black basalt wall is still in use on the north side of the left nave. The windows are made of alabaster, which is a translucent mineral, so light can enter the church when the windows are closed. Now let's walk down the aisle as close as possible to the main altar of the church. The altar covers the ancient rock, the one that Pilgrim Igeria saw, and the one that is venerated as the rock where Jesus performed the miracle of the multiplication. On the floor in front of the rock, we can see the depiction mosaic of the basket with loaves of bread and the two fish on both sides. On the right side, you can see an icon of Christ Pantocrator. And behind it is the icon of the builder of the fourth, fourth century church, St. Joseph of Tiberias. His head is covered, maybe as a reminder that he was a Jewish convert. 
On the left, we see the icon of the Virgin and Child. And behind it is the icon of the builder of the later Byzantine church, Saint Martyrius. Saint Martyrius was the patriarch of Jerusalem during the late 5th century. But he spent his early days as a monk in a monastery in Egypt. That might explain the scenes we see on this beautiful mosaic floor. Scenes of water plants of the Nile River from Egypt, lotus flowers and papyrus. The tower with the Greek alphabet is called a nilometer. They were used in temples of ancient Egypt to measure the level of the Nile River. Outside in the yard, they have a traditional ancient olive press. These are the olive trees of the Galilee region. Right now there's no fruit, just started. Uh, the olive harvest is in October. So I really hope you enjoyed this tour of the Church of the Miracle of the Fish and Loaves. So if you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and please write a comment and let me know where you'd like to go on our next tour of wonderful Israel. Until then, bye-bye everyone, take care, shalom, litot.